Okay, so we're going to uh, start the process of lighting the oven. We're going to be using this uh, lump charcoal and we're setting up the fire starters over here. You know, the three, uh, we have three of them and uh, we use this, uh, this fire starter here. Ignites pretty nicely. Uh, no, here, the key is uh, putting in the newspaper first and in the bottom. And I use three sheets because if you use more than that, the oxygen doesn't flow right, uh, at least in, in these ones. So um, that's a case where, uh, where less is more. So you see now putting in these uh, fire starters, about uh, six pieces. Got that at Ace Hardware. You can get those really anywhere where they sell barbecue stuff. And uh, same deal here. And uh, pretty much going to do this in live time so you see how long it takes to, uh, to get this, this up and running. And number three. It's going to be going into that oven over there. There she is, all. Uh, all cleaned up, ready to go. All right. Now, you know, it depends on your setup. Uh, this is how my back is, so just putting that, uh, putting that charcoal in there. Again. Um, we don't want to pack it too tight, otherwise that'll choke off the, uh, the oxygen. And um, where you set this thing also makes a, uh, a big difference. Um, I'll explain that in a, a second. Well, the explanation is pretty, uh, pretty obvious. You just want air coming from underneath. So um, we put them on these grates over here. There we go. Okay, and then um, we're gonna light that, light that up using, you know, just the uh, yeah. Probably a good idea to get that garbage can out of the way with the plastic bag. And uh, there's like six holes in the bottom. Make sure you you get all the holes. Um, and uh, these things were pretty pretty good. I haven't had one uh, not catch on the first try, so now I probably just jinxed it, but uh, that's okay. I've got confidence. I think we're good. All right, so now, uh, this, this is gonna take about 25 minutes or so. You wanna get them totally orange. Um, wait for the ones at the top to be totally orange. And uh, then we'll put these in a firebox and that's going to be the foundation of the bed. Um, I'm not gonna let this run for 25 minutes, so uh, we'll see you in a few. These are, uh, these are going at a good clip. Um, as you see, so it really is important to uh, anticipate this and, uh, and set these up in a, in a safe place. Probably don't want to burn down your house, uh, even though this is a rental. Okay, we're back uh, pretty quick actually, about uh, 15, 17 minutes. So we're going to uh, put that in the oven. All right, one at a time. Uh, use these uh, heavy gloves because, man, it, it's hot. It's hot. So, there we go. 
Okay. Number two. And one more. Number three. Okay. So now we have uh, not the firebox going. We've got uh, three buckets of uh, of totally wick coal, and we just did two shovelfuls of coal. Here's the thing: the foundation is extremely important. As long as you've got to have a a, a really hot foundation covering all of the grates and that'll make the coal a lot easier a lot easier to uh, to ignite so I'm going to uh, shut this uh, shut this door and uh, see you in a minute so now it's uh, it's going at a pretty good clip so we're gonna add enough enough uh, enough charcoal right so that we can have a, uh, a nice size foundation uh, throughout the entire box. This is something that's very important to, uh, to understand. For coal to light, it has to be lit from underneath. That's where you get your airflow. If you don't cover all of the grates, then the air from underneath is going to hit the coal, bounce off, and go through the, uh, the unobstructed, um, the unobstructed part of the grill so it's not going to light up the uh, the coal all right so here we go now here's the uh, the fan okay so we're going to why don't you close that door all right and now we're just going to put that fan on and let it go for a few minutes and this is the other thing you see down below in the ash bin you see um, see that coming out, that's a really good sign. That means that there's airflow and it's not obstructed. So, uh, so we're in good shape. All right, so it's pretty safe to say that these are, uh, these are lit. Um, I'm going to give it a few more minutes so that they're uh, not only lit, but uh, glowing. And then we're going to uh, even it out in the firebox and we'll get to shoveling some coal. All right, so uh, these have taken good, good enough. So now what we're going to do is even, even it out. Um, you can do that with a shovel. You can do that with a rake. Um, careful. Careful. There we go. All right, that, I think, you know what? That looks beautiful. All right, so now... I'm, for this firebox, I go with 10. 10 shovels of coal all the way in the back there. Move. All right, there's one. Then, so this, hold, hold on one second. Use the uh, really black coal. There we go. All right. Now, I said use the really black coal. There is some coal in there that was like half used. And it will, it will relight, no problem. But the... Uh, the totally unused coal will emit some gases and really get the uh, the fire going right in the beginning. So um, that's why I like to start the fire with uh, just black coal. All right, how many is that? Six. Six, okay. I'd say four more. See, basically what we call this, you when you're putting the coal in, you're trying to extinguish the fire with the coal. Wherever you see fire, you put you put that in. Okay. Perfect. Now just uh, put that all the way in the back. Move all the way in the back. See the flame there? Okay. One more. Get it. Get on that flame to the left. All right. That's perfect. Now let's um, take the coal that's on top of the brick there. Right. There we go. All right. So now you see the firebox is full. We are going to close the door a little bit and light 
the uh, light, uh, put the uh, fan on. Okay. All right. And we'll, uh, we'll just let that uh, go for a while. All right, about 15 minutes has gone by, and you can see that the, uh, the bottom is definitely uh, caught. It's just going to be a matter of uh, 10, 15 more minutes before all that is glowing, and um, we're in business. All right, that is a totally lit fire bed. So what we're going to do now is shut off the uh, fan. Okay, we're going to close the door. Just like that, yeah. And now we're going to, um, with a damp cloth, get all of that, uh, all the ash out. But before you do that, Lucas, let me, uh, let me see what the temperature is over here. It's going to be in centigrade. In the back, it's probably... 353 in the back, which is uh, centigrade, which is exactly where I, where I want to be. So ring that out really nice. Y yeah, not what that. Yeah, you can, you can a little water, but you got to, yeah, just like, see, like that is beautiful. Yeah, however, sure. So getting all of that, uh, cleaning it nice. So we're talking um, from starting with the charcoal to this stage of uh, being ready to, uh, to put some pies in, hour and a half. There we go. All right.